In this premiere episode of Car and Driver Abroad, we drive the iconic Rough Yellowbird, star of the outrageous fascination video shot on the old Nürburgring nearly 25 years ago. We take a look behind the scenes at the Rough Factory and jump into their latest CTR3 supercar and attempt to hit 200 miles an hour on Germany's de-restricted autobahn. In 1987, a tiny manufacturer called Ruff Automobile blew the world away at a top speed shootout with their new model, the CTR. That day it reached 211.14 miles an hour and gained a new nickname. This is the Yellowbird. 25 years later, Car and Driver has come to Germany to drive the CTR, this extraordinary 911, and also to see what the future holds for Ruff Automobile. They say you should never meet your heroes, but I've got a funny feeling today will be anything but a disappointment. This is it, the CTR, the Yellowbird, a car I've been reading about for what feels like all my life. I've watched it a million times on video. It's a very large part of why I love cars, this thing. I'm absolutely privileged to drive it. They only built 29 of these things, and this is number one. This is the pre-production prototype. This is the very car that went to that VW test track and did over 211 miles an hour. The next year, it went to Nardo and did 212.5. And in 1989, this very car was the car that starred in Fascination. Probably the first viral video, certainly the first viral video I've ever seen. Around the Nürburgring, fully lit, blue smoke pouring from its tyres. This is that car. I can't believe I'm getting to drive it. This is Stefan Rosa at the wheel, rough test driver and car control king, cementing the Yellowbird's legend at the Nürburgring. The CTR is based on a humble, narrow-bodied 3.2 Carrera chassis, lightened with an aluminium bonnet and doors and with an RS spec interior, but underneath is radically different. It runs a 3.4-litre twin-turbocharged flat-six that officially produced 469 horsepower and 408 foot-pounds. Rumour has it that 550 might be closer to the truth. Pushing just 2,600 pounds, the performance was and remains extraordinary. 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds and 0 to 100 in 7.8. So this very car then is a piece of history. It really is, it's royalty as far as I'm concerned. It's an iconic car. Probably the most iconic 911 road car, despite the fact it's actually built by Ruff. It's just an incredible thing. But it might be an historical object, but Ruff let people drive it. It's a rolling demonstration of what the company is all about. One thing that doesn't feel like a piece of history is the performance. In fact, it feels like it's from the future. <laughs>
steering's got that 911 steering. The whole chassis feels so stiff because it's got this integrated roll cage. Again, a very complete solution, which is very rough. Everything they do is a holistic approach. They don't just stick a whacking great engine in the back, although it has got that. They really consider how to make the entire car perform so that it can match up to that engine. is in Pfaffenhausen near Munich in southern Germany. Here owner Alois Ruff tells us how the company, which was started by his father back in 1939, became so inextricably linked to Porsche. Well, see the story with Ruff and Porsche starts in 1963. And that was a 356 Carmen Hardtop, which was the first Porsche that entered the Ruff company and premises. And uh, that was really the beginning of the love for these uh, little light-footed sports cars. But then when I heard the sound of the first 911, which uh, was actually a 901, because it was in the year 1964 when I encountered uh, to see the first uh, 911. It was a test car from the factory, a prototype that was flying by. My father and I, we were driving in a small Opel and this car was going by and our car was shaking like this like a wind uh, shear almost. Uh, it, it was something, it was a feeling that I will never forget, you know. Goosebumps hit me and they still haven't left me. <laughs> so my whole, my whole life is basically uh, pivoting around the 911 and the 911 has been my life. And in all your years working with these, these amazing cars and developing your own thing, is there, is there one car and one drive that really stands out as your best moment as, as a manufacturer? Definitely the Yellow Bird, because that was the uh, opening of a new era. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. How did it feel when it came, went and beat all the 959s and the F40 or the Ferrari? I, I still couldn't believe it myself. First I thought when I saw the, uh, the digital indicator at the Volkswagen track, which was with these little uh, flaps that were clicking up and down, it suddenly showed uh, zeros. Then I thought, oh, something must have been wrong. They, they couldn't measure it or something. But then later I was <laughs> taught that the board had trouble because the three was never used in the front because it only showed zero, zero in the first digits. <laughs> It was a lot of excitement. <laughs> well, Roof is a car manufacturer, although we are so small, but we are more like a boutique manufacturer. And it's really literally the term manufacturer. Everything is made by hand. It is done by a group. We are only 70 people. Of the 70, about 10 of them are apprentices. So uh, we are building the car from ground up, from the bare body shell. We're doing all the welding work, the paint work, uh, everything that is needed from the electronic side, from the electrical work, upholstery, interior, everything. And our engines are hand built here. Each engine is dynoed on the dyno and uh, it's really a work of art, every car that we're putting together and it shows the pride of our staff here. And what do you think, I mean, you love the 911, this is moves away from rear engine to mid-engine, yes. etc. 
Did you do it because of commercial reasons or for a dream that you had as, uh, that you always wanted your own supercar? Everything here is done for dreams. <laughs> the commercial aspect is a secondary or maybe further back. <laughs> The CTR3 is the ultimate rough. It was introduced on the 20th anniversary of the Yellowbird and is rough's biggest seller right now. You could have one for $620,000. The mid-engine chassis is unique. The bodywork is carbon fibre, keeping the weight down to around 3,000 pounds. The detailing is beautiful. The motor produces 750 horsepower and 700 pounds foot of torque. Just look at the inboard rear suspension and that huge air intake that feeds the 3.8 litre twin turbocharged flat six, which drives the rear wheels through a six speed sequential gearbox. The CTR3 is good for 236 miles an hour and 0 to 60 in around 3.2 seconds. It is a real supercar. <laughs> the yellow bird which was amazing we've driven this gtr3 on delimited autobahn we've tried to get under the skin of rough automobile they've come a long way in 25 years but they remain obsessed with the highest performance possible and engineering integrity like no one else for me though the yellow bird is still king i love that car in fact i want one i think i'll go for it in uh, yeah yellow <laughs>